what's up libra baby it's that time it's that time again to do a libra versus all signs reading all right i'm gonna go in order from aries to pisces listen out for the sign that you want um that you're dealing with okay that you're dealing with that you're thinking about whatever whatever all right this is going to be general messages meaning that i'm picking up on multiple energies multiple situations and storylines Please use your discernment. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for another Libra out there. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node Libra placements. So if you have Libra in any of those placements, then these messages <coughs> may resonate with you. And like I said, I'm going in order from Aries to Pisces. And the same goes for the signs that I call out. It could be that person's Sun sign, their Moon, their Venus, their Rising, their North Node, all right? All right, and the roles are interchangeable, by the way, okay? Let me say that as well. The roles are interchangeable. So, cross watches for Libra. If you're in here, um, you know, you may hear a message that resonates with you, but it could be the other way around. Maybe Libra is doing something to you, okay? So, y'all just flip and bounce the roles as y'all see fit. But let's get into it. I hope everybody is having a beautiful day. I love you guys. Sending you guys lots of love and positive energy. All right, Aries and Libra. What's going on with Libra's dealing with Aries? What's up, Aries? How y'all feeling? All right, if you in here, if you're cross-watching, but let's see. Libra's dealing with Aries. Spirit, give me a message for the Libras that are currently connected to Aries, thinking about Aries, dealing with Aries. Let's see what's going on with the Libra and Aries energy. Libra's dealing with Aries. Libra, Aries is your opposite sign, actually. But let's see. Libra's dealing with Aries. Holy Spirit, give me three more shuffles. What's going on with the Libras that are dealing with Aries? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Father God. What's going on with the Libras dealing with Aries? Let's see, though. Libras dealing with Aries. Oh, Lord, we got the emperor in the reverse, child. Child, we got the emperor in the reverse, Libra. Four of wands in the reverse and the ace of cups in the reverse. Four of pentacles in the reverse, child. The lovers card here. And the king of wands in the reverse. And the six of swords. Um, Somebody in this situation, whether you or them, could be um just moving on. Sailing to calmer waters, moving on. Somebody in this situation feel like they missed out on their person because they was being a player or they was playing too many games. Ace of Cups in the reverse to the King of Wands reverse. Somebody here feel like they blew something. Like they fucked something up. They sabotaged something. Somebody here could be viewing you as the one that got away, Libra. If you was dealing with this person and they was playing games or they was being a player here in this King of Wands reverse energy, this person feel like they fucked up. They feel like you have moved on. Some of you have actually relocated or traveled or something like that. But this person just feel like you're moving forward. You're moving on with your life. You're moving in a new direction. And they feel like you're the one that got away or they missed out on an opportunity with you. They want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, this person could have wanted you to like wait on them possibly. Three of Wands is Aries energy as well. So somebody here could have wanted someone to wait in this situation. But somebody here is not waiting with the three of wands in the reverse to the six of swords. Somebody here has uh, moved on. And this person is feeling like stuck on you. They feeling like things in their life is at a stalemate. Somebody here could be feeling like, you know, shit is not really up and running for them the way that they would like it to. Yeah. Um, this person could have got manipulated into going back towards someone that was no good for them. Yeah, a codependent situation. So this person could have like a codependent karmic situation that's going on in their life right now. And they got manipulated in some way to go back to that. It's like this person repeated a karmic cycle here with the five of pentacles in the reverse and the magician reverse. This is like somebody here that um is having a hard time separating from karmic energies here. Or this is how it was. And you decided not to wait. Like you like, I'm not going to wait while you going back and forth with karmic connections. There's a lot of spying going on during this time with the page of swords here. Clarify the page of swords. For some of you, this is supposed to be like a strong connection or you feel strongly connected to this person for some of you this is a soulmate energy the lover's card whether you view this person as a karmic soulmate or um you know like a twin flame or something like that but the lover's card here this is definitely a connection here and there's a choice that was being made here libra and for many of you you just chose to go in a new direction okay 
This person miss you though. They watching you and they miss you. We just clarified the page of swords with the six of cups. Somebody here watching somebody and reminiscing and missing missing them. So this person is thinking about you, uh, Libra. This person is uh, watching you and missing you during this time. Uh, give me something on this uh, six of cups here. This person may not be taking any action. They could be secretly spying, watching you. This person going through some sort of transformation. They healing because they know that they got to work on themselves or do something here. Yeah, this person feels like they have to evolve. They have to go through a transformation. They have to work on themselves. Yeah, they have to get rid of their own toxic traits, patterns, and behaviors to get into, um, to be with you. Because Libra, you, this person views you as the empress. They know for a fact that you are divine. Whether you are masculine or feminine in this situation, there you are empress. This person sees you as a divine being. They see you as someone that's of a high vibration. And with the emperor in the reverse here, they may feel like, you know, damn, like I'm not... I'm not, you know, I'm not only, you know, like I'm not up to par, you know, to be with Libra. Like there's a lot of things that I do that I know Libra not going to fuck with, you know, Libra not going to tolerate certain shit that I do. So, you know, I need to just, you know, go through this transformation with the death card here. This person really feel like they need to go through some sort of transformation, but it's not just for you, Libra, it's for themselves, right? Like people need, you know, you got to change for yourself, but I also feel like you could be motivation behind this person wanting to transform because they want to have a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. This person was connected to karmic energies. I can't make it up. I told you it's like this person got manipulated into going back into some shit that was no good for them with the five of pentacles in the reverse and the magician reverse, the judgment reverse and the will of fortune reverse. It's like this person definitely got manipulated into going back towards some shit that was no good for them. Okay. They was connecting with a queen of wands in the reverse here. But again, you know, you can't really blame whoever the karmic energies in this person's life is. I mean, shit, no, I, I just feel like it is what it is because this person is in karmic energy too. We got both the king and the queen of wands in the reverse here. So it's like, that's why they was, you know, tricked or manipulated into going back into something that wasn't going to help them grow and evolve because they wasn't really on that type of time to grow and evolve for themselves anyway. So it's like, it's fair game here. Like this, this person was choosing karmics, like they was consciously choosing karmics here. But now they want to make you an awful Libra, but you stand in your ground, baby. You showing up as the queen of swords. Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords. This person feels like you could be very guarded. Some of you, you may be even coming across as someone that's dismissive, okay? But this person is feeling trapped now. They feel like they all in their head because they feel like you got options now. And those options could be more stable than whatever it is that they have to offer during this time. This person feels like you're defensive. You're standing your ground. You're setting boundaries with them. And they feel like you have options. You could be keeping your options open. Some of you, Libra, if you're single, you could be dating right now. But this person just feels like there's more stable um, energies or offers coming towards you. They feel foolish right now. I feel like this person feel like they did something impulsively too quick. And they very unhappy right now. They could have partnered up with another person or multiple people here in some way to do something to you, Libra. This person was definitely being two-faced, playing both sides for some of you. Somebody here could have a Leo moon or Aquarius moon or some shit like that but this person sees you in this nine of cups and they feel like you headed towards the ten of cups and they panic and they don't like this shit okay like it's not that they don't like that you you happy they feel like you deserve this but they don't like the fact that they not there with you okay yeah the justice in the reverse literally just fell on the floor libra that's your oh all my cards were on the floor okay this person i feel like they mad too you know i ain't even gonna hold you i feel like they mad there could be a Virgo involved in this situation for some of you or a Capricorn. Somebody was showing Virgo or Capricorn in their chart or this is like multiple people here. But with the justice in the reverse here, this person just feel like they fucked up. Okay, this is somebody that wished that they could turn back the hands of time. They definitely would do things differently than they did them before because um, they just feel like they sabotage a, a powerful connection with you, Libra. Um yeah, they wasn't aware that someone wasn't good for them or they thought somebody was good for them. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Libra, Ace of Swords. I feel like, why is this Nine of Swords here? Give me something on this Nine of Swords. Who in the Nine of Swords? Yeah, because they're going through an extreme tower moment, Libra. The tower in the reverse here. And they're worried and panicking, hoping that you're not walking away for good. Like, they really don't want you to walk away for good. They know you've walked away, but they hoping, they just hoping that 
it's not a permanent decision of yours. They hoping that, you know, maybe you, you'll still be available or open to dealing with them after they go through this awakening or this ascension, this transformation here. All right, let's move on to my Libras dealing with Taurus. Libras dealing with Taurus. Holy Spirit, give me a message for Libras dealing with Taurus. What you want to tell the Libras connected to Taurus? Libra and Taurus energy. Present. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Libras connected to Taurus. Libras dealing with Taurus. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Libras dealing with Taurus. Father God, Holy Spirit, give me two more shuffles for the Libras connected to Taurus. Libra and Taurus. Libra, you keep showing up as the Queen of Swords. I feel like, I just feel like you are just, you, you're not playing with people, okay? You got a low tolerance for bullshit, okay? For real. Libra's connected to Taurus. Let's see. Somebody here that have Pisces placements. Taurus, here you are, though. King of Pentacles and a Hierophant in the upright, and the Emperor in the upright. Oh, Libra, there's a Taurus that is a whole emperor, baby. But there's an empress in the reverse here. Somebody here could have Libra Pisces placements. Somebody here could have a Pisces moon. Somebody here could have an Aries moon. Somebody here could have double Taurus. Somebody here could be like a Taurus sun and Taurus moon. There's a karmic distorted feminine in this energy. This could be you, Libra, or this could be a third person, a third party here. But there's a there's an emperor here. This Taurus is showing up as an as an emperor. The Hierophant and the Emperor, the King of Pentacles. This is somebody that's very stable. This is somebody that's about their business. I feel like this is somebody that's about their paper, too. Like this is just a well-rounded uh masculine energy I'm picking up on. Hierophant, King of Pentacles, the Emperor, like Big Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a man's man right there. That's somebody that you call king, you know. This person watching you, mm, they won't make you an offer, Libra. This person keeping tabs on you, they watching you, they feeling you. This person likes you a lot, okay? This Taurus, they like you a lot. They see you as their wish fulfillment for a want. Shit, this person might ask you to go out on a date or to be with them, or you are dating this person. Libra, if you wanted to know if this person's an emperor, hell fucking yeah, how you can't tell, okay? Like, the fuck? Yeah, four of wands here, ace of cups. Mm-hmm. This Taurus is uh this 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 is a man of, of big things. This this man make moves here. This is a a boss here, a leader. This person could be a CEO. They could work for themselves. They could be an entrepreneur. This is somebody that you know they name whole weight. This is somebody that walk around. You know, I mean, I just heard they got a big stick. So y'all take it as it resonates, y'all. I ain't dealing with y'all. I ain't fucking with y'all today on that type of time. <laughs> Libra, you take that as it resonates. I just heard there's somebody with a big stick, but I just feel like they got a strong personality as well. They got um, um, a very commanding presence, okay? This person is very respected, okay? Even if people don't like them, people know that they have to respect this man when he come through. Um, This is somebody that want to work together with you, okay? The fuck? <laughs> okay, this person want to work together with you. They want to invest in you, all right? I feel like this person is disconnected from somebody that was using them for their money. This person, is yeah, they, oh, yeah, somebody was trying to hold on to them for money, for finances. I told you this man do very well for himself. And he could be disconnected or he has already disconnected from a Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, Lovers reverse. He could have been dealing with a Gemini, a water sign, or an earth sign. Maybe somebody with all of that in their chart. But he's disconnected from somebody that he knows didn't love him for him. Okay, I feel like this Taurus is disconnected from somebody that they know didn't truly love them for them. Somebody that was a gold digger, somebody that was a user, somebody that was codependent on them for all the wrong reasons. That's the Empress in the reverse. So Libra, you not showing up as the Empress in the reverse. Y'all had me a little worried for a second. This is like, they could even have a child with this person. Y'all take it as it resonates. But they was dealing with somebody that's a distorted feminine, a karmic woman. And they severing ties with a karmic woman. They closing out a cycle with a karmic woman. Okay. Yeah, they found out that this person don't truly love them or they only dealing with them for what they could get out of them. They only dealing with them for financial reasons. Yeah, Libra. And it's good news that this person is moving forward. Yeah, they happy. They happy to be separating from this karmic energy. 
okay? And this person has been, like, really watching you. I want to say they've been studying your ass, Libra, because this masculine wants to make sure that he don't make a mistake and go into a situation with somebody that's toxic, like the situation that he's getting out of. Like, he, because he thought that this, he could have thought this woman was an actual empress and then found out later that this is actually a lot of karma tied to this. This is a karmic partner. And now he's disconnected from this person. He wants to build a foundation with someone, a very solid the foundation this man want to build generational wealth child whoever this Taurus is they thinking about stability and generational wealth and just you know living a good life with somebody here yeah being fucking happy and just living good like this Taurus is all about his motherfucking business man this Taurus ain't nothing to play with and I feel like this is your justice for you to be connecting with this person Libra it's your justice baby that you on the other it's your motherfucking justice to be connecting with this person and building a legacy, an empire, and generational wealth with this person. Okay? Like, come on now, Libra. This person is falling for you. They in love with you. For some of you, you already know this person. You've been connecting with this person. This person is falling in love with you. And if you haven't been connected with this person, they've been watching you. And they feel this strong feeling for you. Like, they, they love you. They love what you're about. They see you as someone that's very healing. Someone that's of a high vibration. This person got a lot of a passion for you. They're attracted to you. And I'm telling you, it's something about this person's wand or some shit like that. I'm just, I told you I heard big stick. Like, I'm listening. But, I mean, aside from that, this is overall just a, a good person. This is someone that's stable. Someone that's just about their fucking business, Libra. And I feel like there's a king of wands in the reverse. A player here that wants to manipulate your energy to keep this person away from you. So you got a player that you used to deal with or some shit like that that knows that this emperor is in your energy here and they want to manipulate you so that you don't choose this emperor so that you deal with a toxic player ass. But it's not working. Yeah, somebody here wants you to juggle between them and a real emperor. So some there's a player from your past that's trying to interfere with you and this Taurus. They know that this Taurus is about it, about it. They know that this Taurus is about their business and they not on this Taurus level at all. But they want you to be confused about this. They want you to juggle. This is a past person that's bitter that they haven't healed, they haven't evolved, they haven't changed. They feel rejected right now by you, Libra. But this person is working behind the scenes to even be doing spell work to try to manipulate you from choosing the right person. They want you to be up in your head like, should I be with this player or should I be with this emperor? Libra, please. Like this Taurus is the one. The fuck you mean? Like this tortoise is 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 king, daddy o. <laughs> like, I mean, this shit is just clear as day. Like, it's no mistakes about it. It's not no guessing. It's no oh, I intuitively feel. No, this shit is coming out here. Like this tortoise is it. This tortoise is it. And whoever this player is, this person could be a fire sign or an Aquarius. This person, or they could have that in their chart. But this person wants you to like be confused, Empress, about. A real emperor like absolutely not mm -mm. hell no okay ain't no confusion there you better not be confused like somebody here could be playing on your mind trying to mentally um you know invade your space or just mentally um it's like mental confusion here somebody here could be doing confusion spells mental magic somebody here wants you to be confused it's like somebody here wants you to see like the energy that that taurus is in that king of wands in reverse wants you to view them as that Taurus. And it's just, it's no comparison. It's no comparison at all. Like, energetically, spiritually, no. Like, no. It's just not. This Taurus is the real deal. King of Pentacles, Emperor, boss status. Yeah, this shit is destined. It's fated to happen. So I feel like you're not going to get tricked. And it, even if you are confused in some way, you're not, you're going to take your time. You're not going to make, um, you're not going to jump and make a decision here. So it's like, Things are going to work out between you and, and this Taurus the way that it's supposed to. Will of Fortune here in the upright. So some of y'all going to be with a Taurus and that's your person. That's your emperor. And whoever this emperor in the reverse is, this king of wands in the reverse that wants you to be confused about them and your real emperor, it's not going to work out. Yeah, empress, because you not supposed to be with an emperor in the reverse. Like that shit is just not going to fly. Spirit is not going to allow that to happen. You've done too much work to repeat karmic cycles. You're going to be given certain signs and downloads and information and confirmation on who to choose. Yeah, you're going to make a solid decision here, Libra Two of Swords. You're going to know what to do. You're going to know what to do, baby. Yeah, you're going to know what to do. All right, let's move on to my Geminis. 
what's going on with Libra's dealing with gems? Libra's dealing with Gemini. Libra and Gemini, y'all are very compatible, even though, you know, sometimes shit get a little hectic. Um, I was talking to one of my coworkers that's a Gemini, and I was telling him, I'm like, you need to get you a Libra man, because you keep dealing with the wrong ones, okay? You need to get you a Libra man, and things will be okay. Um, Libra and Gemini are good. You know, you guys have, um, I feel like it's, you guys have a high tendency, um, high tendency, I don't know if that sounds right, but there's like a high chance for Libra and Gemini connections to be very successful. I guess it just depends on y'all birth charts, okay? Like some of y'all need to do a synastry chart to see what's going on, but Gemini and Libra can, can be really good together, but let's see. Uh, somebody here could be trying to do a synastry chart to figure out their person's placements or because I don't know why I brought that up. So somebody here could be trying to do a chart, a synastry chart to compare to see what the compatibility is, what y'all weaknesses and strengths together and stuff. Um, how y'all going to support each other, what challenges may come up in y'all relationship. Somebody here could be very into astrology, whether you or this Gemini, maybe both of you. But I definitely feel like somebody here doing a research. Yeah, this person is, yeah, high priestess, exactly, in the King of Swords. Somebody here could actually be very spiritual or be an astrologer, be a reader. Somebody here is doing a research on, like, if y'all compatible or not, whether you or this person. I definitely feel that. Somebody here doing some shit to see. Or somebody here could be getting that done for them. So, like, if, if let's just say... This Gemini is into that, but they don't do it themselves. They could be paying somebody to, like, read your chart, read their chart, or, like, you know, just see what the future may hold for you, too. Somebody here definitely trying to get some sort of information regarding the future with you, Libra, because they want to know. Like, this person want to know. Like, are we compatible? Like, what's going on with their placements, my placements, so on and so forth? Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles here in the upright, Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles in the upright, Queen of Cups in the upright, Death Reverse, Two of Wands in the reverse, and a Page of Wands in the upright at the bottom of the deck. Um, let's see what's going on, though. Queen of Pentacles here. What's going on with Libras dealing with Geminis? Give me something on this Queen of Pentacles here. What's going on with the Libras connected to Geminis, Father God, Holy Spirit? Okay. The Star card here. So, I feel... Okay, this person could be disconnected from a Sagittarius... Okay, yeah, we got Gemini here, the lovers in the reverse. They could be disconnected from a Sagittarius or a Cancer. They could be disconnected from somebody that was actually doing work on them. All right? Whether this was a friend, a lover, take it as it resonates. But I feel like there's a Gemini. This person, of course, is a Gemini. But they could have been connected to another Gemini, a Cancer, a Sag, or somebody with that in their chart. But this person is smart. It's like they're very smart. Whoever this Gemini is, very intelligent. Come on now, ear signs. Y'all very smart. We go through this every day. Y'all are very smart. This Gemini is, is putting the pieces together here. They could be finding out that somebody that they trusted, a trusted friend, family member, or lover um, of theirs was actually doing work on them. And, and they realize this shit. And they making a decision to close out a cycle with this person. This friend, this family member, whatever. Whoever, the, whoever this is that they finding out was doing work on them. They consciously making a decision to disconnect from that person because they don't want to miss out on the opportunity with you. This Gemini coming in like a bat out of hell, child. This person don't want to miss out on the opportunity with you. They coming in quick. Knight of Wands here. This is somebody that got a lot of passion for you. They want to build something stable with you. Yeah, they put in things. They put an end to something with somebody that they trusted that was manipulating them. This could even be somebody that they shared a home with. They could have had a family with this person, shared a home with this person, or this could be somebody in their family. Somebody here is very jealous of you, Libra. Whoever this person is that they're disconnected from, they know you, they know of you, and they don't, they're jealous of you. So they was manipulating this person's energy or saying like negative things about you to make this person look at you in a way like, oh, yeah, I need to stay away from Libra. Yeah, you're right. Like this person, whoever this Queen of Wands in the reverse is, this person knows that this Gemini has feelings for you. And they could have been telling this Gemini like, mm, nah, Libra is... You know, Libra this or Libra that or Libra gonna hurt you or Libra uh, gold digger. You know, just anything like Libra is uh, demonic. Libra's evil or Libra just, you know, Libra is gonna hurt you. Libra is just gonna go to the next best thing. You know, just sh anything that they could say to make this person look at you in a negative light. But they they watching you, Libra, and they said, shit, I want to go back over there. 
So I feel like this is somebody that y'all already had some sort of dealings with, some sort of history with. Whether or not you actually was in a relationship with this person, you know who this uh, person is. You know who this Gemini is. They even watch you. They want to come. They want to come around. Okay. They want to come back around. They want to spend a block eight of cups in the reverse. And I feel like whoever has been in this person's ear to try to keep them away from you is now worried. They're now concerned because now they feel rejected. This could have even been multiple women here, multiple people in this person's life that has been, you know, feet in their mind, just negative bullshit. This Gemini is actually showing up as an emperor. Yeah, they want to invest in you. The emperor to the eight of pentacles. This is somebody that wants to invest in you, and they know you single, Libra. Whoever I'm, whoever I'm talking to, you single. Nine of Pentacles, or they just feel like you're very independent and shit. Yeah, they see you as an emperor. Somebody here was telling this person that you was like a karmic. You're not a karmic. Somebody here feel like you got your bread, too. This person could be watching you at work. For some of y'all, I don't know. This person could be watching you at work or some shit like that. Or they they know what you do for work, and they watch your work. If you, if you do something in the public eye, they watch you. They, they watch you. They see what you're doing. They see what you're about. This person feels like you are headed towards like someone of you. They view you already as someone of high status, but they feel like you're going to be like somebody big here. This person putting you on a pedestal and whoever was trying to manipulate this person's energy and speak negatively about you. They're mad because they see that this person sees you in a completely different way. Like, if somebody was telling this person you're a karmic, this person said, nah, Libra the fucking empress. You bugging. Like, real recognize real. Let's just talk about it. Because whoever this Gemini is, they showing up as the emperor. So, it's like real recognize real. I'm an emperor. I know an empress when I see one. I'm hearing Alicia Keys. Because a real man knows a real woman when he sees her. Ooh, I sound terrible. But a real woman knows a real man. Ain't free to please her. So yeah, this, this is a real emperor here. So they recognize real. Real recognize real is what I'm getting from this shit. This emperor, like, man, that's a whole empress out there. Like, you fucking told me this person was this, this, and that. You told me this person was a gold digger, a Jezebel spirit, a slut, a whore, a this, or that. Man, this is a whole empress, man. Yeah, these people mad as hell. Yo, whoever this Gemini is, they about to come holla at you. They about to come check you. They said, fuck these motherfuckers that they've been listening to. You know, I don't really feel like they've been actually listening to these people. They just been taking in what they saying, you know, making a mental note of it, keeping it in the back of their mind. But then they did they research or they just been watching you and seeing that you really the queen of pentacles. You the star, nine of pentacles, empress. This person sees you as someone that's very compassionate, loving, big hearted, kind, considerate, independent. They see you as somebody that's just about your shit. Like this person feel like you... You be on your shit. Like, they like that. They feel like, for some of you, they like, man, that's the female version of me. That's what I'm saying. They looking at you like real, recognized, real. So, these other people here that was in this person's ear trying to keep this person away from you and speak ill on you, that shit is not working at all. And they're mad. They're gossiping. They're mad. Somebody could even have a group chat talking about you and this person like, man, so-and-so no. Jim and I know that leap with a real deal. And it's like, fuck, man. <laughs> you know, like somebody here is obsessed with this emperor, which is why they was doing this shit in the first place. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius, a Cancer, a Capricorn. They could have that in their chart. Yeah, this Gemini said, nah, I know an empress when I see one. Y'all motherfuckers are some liars. <laughs> All right, let's move on to my um, Cancers. What's going on with Libras dealing with Cancers? Okay, Libras connected to Cancers. Libras dealing with cancer spirit. Give me a message for the Libras that's dealing with cancers, please, and thank you. Libras dealing with cancers. Father God, Holy Spirit, give me three more shuffles for the Libras dealing with cancers, please, and thank you. Because a real man knows a real woman when he sees her. Libras dealing with cancers. What y'all got going on? We got the Magician in the upright at the bottom of the deck. The High Priestess in the reverse. Knight of Wands. Three of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Page of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. Oh, okay. But the Queen of Wands is in the reverse here. Yeah. Magician at the bottom of the deck. Somebody trying to manifest somebody. Oh, I cut the deck on Cancer right here. Chariot in the reverse. Somebody here could be connected to. Then we go with that Gemini, Sagittarius, and Cancer energy again. And the Ace of Cups reverse. 
very similar cards to the Gemini message I just gave. So this Cancer could have Gemini placements. Or they could be dealing with a Gemini. This Cancer could be connected to a Gemini, a Sagittarius. But these are fucking haters. These are haters in this person's energy. This this other Cancer, this Sagittarius, this Gemini, whoever these people are, they're very hateful. Like, they're haters. Somebody here don't like you, Libra. This could even be somebody's mama. They don't like you for whatever reason. Who gives a fuck? Like, don't nobody give a fuck. Libra don't give a fuck. Who like them? Who don't? Like, ma'am, I'm going to need you to have several fucking seats. Like, with all disrespect. The fuck? Yeah. Like, this is somebody's family or this is somebody's friends. Karmic fucking friends. They all distorted. They all in the reverse. Somebody here wants somebody to miss out on being with you. Miss out on the opportunity with you. But this person's actually trying to manifest you. So even if people are speaking negatively about you to this cancer, it's this cancer don't give a fuck. They trying to manifest you <laughs> like fuck listening to them. They ain't even listening. They trying to manifest you. Whoever this person is, they laser focus on you. But this cancer could be feeling energetically like all over the place. Like this something is fucked up about this person's energy. Somebody here could even be projecting energy onto them. And this person may not necessarily know how to uh cleanse themselves or or get themselves you know grounded something here about this person feeling unstable or like not grounded here let's see what the fuck is going on here yeah you could have had two cancers in your energy libra some of y'all got a cancer that's trying to manifest you the others of you you got a cancer here that work together with multiple people here to like take from you but that shit is not working yeah, somebody here fucking angry and talking shit. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here talking shit because whatever they was doing is not working. Somebody here is very fucking jealous. Could be another Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, an Aries, Leo, Sag. Strong air, strong fire. There's a feminine energy connected to this cancer that is a very hateful, very jealous of you and talking shit about you. That's the truth. This person is mad because you're not talking to them. You're not their friend or you close out a cycle with them. Yeah, this person is unhappy because you're the fucking empress and they're not. Period. This is somebody that's very promiscuous. They they disgusting. This is somebody that just fuck on everybody. Everybody could fuck this person. Excuse my language. Like, this is somebody that is very promiscuous. Like, And it's like, they just classless. Yeah, this is somebody that's getting bad karma right now. This person could even be going to jail or some shit like this. This is somebody that's very fucking codependent. It's like... They can't compare to you. They can't hold a torch to you, a match to you in no way. Empress, Libra, you showing up as the Empress, the Hierophant. You showing up as a leader, a fucking boss, a divine feminine, a divine masculine. Take it as it resonates. You the fucking truth. You the shit. And I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands in the reverse is, they're just very jealous of you. This person is jealous of you. Their lover could be in jail. They could be facing jail. Like this person's life is falling apart. They want to reach out to you and talk to you. All they do is watch you. They could take, they, they need to take some fucking notes, okay? Because this person can't take shit of yours. The only thing they could take from you is notes. This bitch need to get her notepad out, her journal, take some fucking notes. Because all she do is watch you. And this bitch could learn a thing or two. Because she's very fucking codependent. Nine of Wands in the reverse. I mean, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse to the Nine of Cups in the reverse. She's codependent on somebody that don't love her, that only use her for sex. They both distorted. They both karmic. These are two karmic people here. A king and a queen of wands both in the reverse. These people are ridiculous. Yeah, they they broke or they face in poverty. They have no money. Like I said, they could have been working together trying to take from you or trying to steal from you. Shit, this could even be somebody in y'all family or this person was working together with their karmic family members or this person was working together with somebody that's in your family that's karmic. But Libra, you're receiving justice in this situation and somebody here is obsessively stalking you, obsessively watching you and mad as fuck trying to see when your blessings or when your manifestations is coming in. This person is heavily burdened and weighed down. They're fucking depressed. This person need to get their shit together. They need to take better care of themselves. Whoever this is, they're, they're slacking here. They're not taking care of themselves. All they do is focus on you. This person eats, sleep, dream, talk about you 24 fucking 7. This person is obsessed with you and your life. They're obsessed with you and your manifestations your glow up the fact that you get everything you want somebody here feel like you get everything you want is not fair because you've healed bitch you over here sucking everybody's dick okay you over here trying to steal money or get money the quick fast way you scheming you plotting this is why you're in this energy you can't compare to a fucking empress and you can't be mad that an empress is getting what they want when you out here moving just sickly like you just a sick you's a sick bitch Whoever this is, she's sick. She could be sick. She could have some sort of STI, STD. Yeah, her pH balance is definitely way the fuck off. 
her pH balance is off because she just be letting motherfuckers nut in her or she just be sleeping around a lot. Whoever this is, their energy is just raggedy. I'm sorry, their energy is fucking raggedy. I feel like all this person do is argue with this masculine. They both sleep around and then they sleep with each other. They just pass and sexually transmitted demons to one another. These people need fucking healing. They need help. They need to fucking work on themselves instead of stalking you, watching you and talking shit about you and comparing themselves to you. This is like hateful fucking energy because their life ain't shit. Their life is a reflection of who they are these people are very toxic very low vibrational you're actually being protected from these people these people betrayed you somebody here that betrayed you also wants to come back around absolutely not libra you have no business talking to any of these people yeah somebody here can't believe that you know your wishes are being granted you're happy somebody here is worried they want to come back towards you for some of you somebody want to come back towards you to um fight with you or argue with you oh get the fuck out of here please Libra, you need to block all these motherfuckers. For real, for real. If you haven't already, like, fuck all of these motherfuckers. They're weird. They're distorted. They're twisted. They don't like you. They're jealous of you. They compare themselves to you. They're in secret competition. You can't compete with. You definitely can't compare. Like, I mean, this is somebody that's not even in the same category as you. I wouldn't even say they're on the same page because they're not even in the same book. Y'all motherfuckers not even located in the same library, the same section. Like, this is somebody here that is just all distorted like her life is a is a fucking mess this is a woman here that got the game fucked up like this person is is just loosey-goosey argumentative combative combative okay barbaric very barbaric energy very animalistic kind of energy this is somebody that's a fucking bully or that talks down to others this is in this person's a slob too like something about them is just like a messy maybe this person just dressed like they don't give a fuck like this person don't ever look put together or that's how they about to be. This person's like losing themselves. So like even if this was somebody that had maintained their image or kept themselves up physically, it's like they're they're fucking up. Like this person is not, they probably not washing their ass every day. Like they not taking care of themselves. They not taking care of themselves, their responsibilities, their home, nothing. Like this person is like, they just, they a fucking mess. Yeah, like whoever energy this is, this person is a mess. Okay. Like, this person do not take good care of themselves at all. And that's what the fuck they need to be focused on. Actually taking care of their skin, their health, getting a pH balance on track. Stop fucking every damn body. Like, this person needs to, like, readjust. This person needs to really, like, um, you know, tap into their higher power. This person needs to go through some sort of transformation. But they, I feel like they so fucking lost. They so far out that, child, I don't know if there's any hope for this person. But we're going to send this person healing. We're going to pray for whoever this is. Because Lord knows they need it. And this is somebody that want money and they want it quick. They don't want to work for it. This is somebody that's very lazy. They rather steal. They rather take from somebody. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse to the Four of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Cups reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that's lazy. They want to sit on their ass. They don't want to work for shit. They just want shit handed to them. They want to take it. They want to go out and take it. They want to team up with other people to take it. They want to sleep with people for money. Like, this is just... Uh, it's giving somebody here to actually be selling their ass, too. And baby girl, if you're selling your ass, you need to at least wash it. Like, it's just, this person's a fucking mess. I'm sorry, they are. They are. I, I just, I can't deny what the fuck I just picked up on. And I don't feel like this is a cancer. I feel like this is somebody that could be connected to a cancer. But y'all take it as it resonates. But it's a no for all these people. Whether you used to be friends with these people or whatever the fuck, you need to just stay the fuck away from these people. These people are distorted. They're karmic. They don't mean you well, Libra. It's a no. Um. Oh, oh, hell no. Like, that energy was, like, teddy ball, okay? Teddy ball, teddy ball. <laughs> that shit was terrible, Libra. I promise you it was. Mm -mm. Let's move on to my Libras dealing with uh, Leos. Libras connected to Leos. Libras dealing with Leos, child. So shit. Libra's connected to Leo's. Give me three more shuffles for the Libra's connected to Leo's. The rain is a rain. And it seems to be a rain. It's a real man. And it's a real man. Alright, Libra's dealing with Leo's. 
This person's in love with you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. In love with you. Yeah, this person in love with you. This Leo love you. Oh, there's a Leo in love with you. This person say you my baby. You my my soulmate. For some of you, this person could be a soulmate of yours, a twin flame. For for some of you, there's a distorted feminine here that's watching. Could be another Libra. Yeah, could be another Libra or a Taurus. Somebody with strong Libra or Taurus in their chart that's watching you. A karmic woman is watching you. Mm -hmm. This person could be a Cancer, another Libra, a Taurus, somebody with that in their chart. But there's a Leo that could have strong feelings for you. This person missed you. Yeah, they want to make you an offer. This person fine as hell. Oh, y'all know them Leos be fine, child. Y'all know them fucking Leos be fine as fuck. Like... I don't know. Whoever this Leo is, they fine as hell. They keep them, they dress nice too, and they smell good. Oh my God, this man smells so damn good. This shit don't make no sense. What is this man wearing? Somebody here wear Louis Vuitton cologne or a Creed or some Izzy Miyake. Like, I don't know. Some Dior, Sauvage. Like, this person got on sun. And they smell good, okay? They smell good. This person got karmic energies wanting to fight them. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Oh, this this Leo got a tox this Leo got toxic friends, toxic family members that they may not fuck with anymore that are like trying to fight them, go up against them. Okay. They don't want this Leo to be happy, but this Leo is happy. And this motherfucker be manifesting the hell out of his life. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. Yeah. They could be an Aquarius, jealous of this man, another Libra, a Taurus, um, a Scorpio, a Cancer. This person got a lot of haters, but Leos usually have a lot of haters. Like, I'm not surprised they even see shit like this. Leos be having a lot of haters. Yeah, this this person get a lot of attention. They, oh man, big fucking, big, big attention. Like, oh hell yeah. Oh, this person gets all the attention because they look... Something about this person's appearance is very, like, it's striking. It's like, this is the type of motherfucker you look at and you take a double glance at, like, oh, damn, like, you got some beautiful fucking features or you got some beautiful skin. This man got beautiful skin. He probably take good care of his house, stay in the gym, he work out. It's like he take good care of himself and it's a reflection. Like, his his uh physical appearance is a reflection of his self-love. Like, this man look God. Okay, he look like he eat his greens and he drink his water and he minds his business and he gets his fucking money. He gets to the bag. He's very charming. This person is very fucking charming and they dress really nice. This person, they clean up nice. Even when they dress in very, like, casual, they fly as hell. But this person could wear the fuck out of a suit. And there's a, a Sagittarius here, another Libra, a Taurus, a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Virgo that don't want this person talking to you. They don't want this person coming towards you. They don't want this person working together with you. They're jealous of this person. They're jealous of you. Somebody here knows for a fact that you and this man would have a beautiful life together. Yeah, this man is a fucking emperor. Oh, this Leo is an emperor. Mm -hmm, big daddy. Emperor, king of pentacles. I'm hearing that this person could have strong earth in their chart. They could have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn placements. God damn, this Leo so fucking fine. This shit don't make no sense. This shit don't make no sense. This man so damn fine. Okay, this man, uh, listen, this man so damn fine. And he very caring. He's very loving. He want to talk to you. Fuck that. Yeah, he see you as their, his wish fulfillment. Libra, this man want to invest in you. This person could be an investor. Truth be told, this motherfucker could be an investor. But this person wants to invest in you or they see you as their wish fulfillment. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, they want to put the hard work and effort in to see what's up with you, to see see where this could go, see what you about. Oh, this man look God. I got it, I got it, I got it. He look good, man. He look good. This man get a lot of attention anywhere he go. He stop traffic or he just, he changes the energy in the room when he walks into that bitch. Like he just, oh, this man is delicious. Okay, delicioso. Yeah, he want to come towards you, Knight of Cups, period. I feel like somebody here is disappointed. There's a Queen of Cups in the reverse that's mad. This person could have like a to toxic sisters or toxic siblings, toxic family, toxic mama. Yeah, this person got toxic people around them that's upset. Because they feel like this person is like walking away from them or starting a new life and protecting their peace and not really being involved with the bullshit. Like whoever this Leo is, he want peace. He don't want to be, he don't like to argue, none of that. He want peace. He want 
Anybody that's disturbing his peace gotta go. And he don't give a fuck if they family. He don't give a fuck who you are. You gotta go if you disturbing his peace. And that's just that on that. All right. This Leo is feeling you. This Leo want to go out with you. They want to take you out or they want to dress you up, clean you up. Like Libra, not saying that you ain't, you know, maybe you don't dress up a lot or something like that. Or you just be chilling or you dress, you know, you dress nice too, Libra. But it's something about you that just be chill or some shit. This person want to put you in like a nice dress and some heels. It's like this person wants you to get dressed up. And I feel like they want you to wear what they want you to wear. Like this person want to buy you something to put on. And y'all go out. This person want to take you like dancing or they want to take you to listen to some music, eat some expensive ass food and drink some expensive ass wine or some shit. This person want to wine and dine you, child. This person said, baby, look, I don't bought you this dress. Put this dress on, put these shoes on. Okay, I'll pick you up at eight. Like, <laughs> this person, this, mm, okay, that Leo, okay, that motherfucker, he... Let's move on. <laughs> like, that person is charming. Yes, because they're an emperor. Like, this person is charming, okay? This is somebody that a sweet talk a bitch. <laughs> I feel like it's a faded event for you to work with this, at least work with this person. It's something that you and this person are supposed to be doing for some of y'all. Even if y'all not going to actually date or be together, you're supposed to, like, work together with this person or something like that for some of y'all. Yeah. And there's a Cancer or another Libra or Taurus that's, like, jealous and upset. Like, I don't know. Don't work with Libra. Don't invest in Libra. Don't talk to Libra. Don't take Libra out. This person said, man, bitch, get away from me. I'm going to go take a leap of faith. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better, you better stand the fuck out of my way. You better get out of my way. Okay? Because I'm going I'm to go do what I want to do. Yeah, this person coming towards you passionately. Whether this Virgo, this other Libra, this Taurus, this Scorpio, Sagittarius, this Cancer, whoever the fuck these people are, they got to move out of this person's way. Period. Um, somebody is very emotionally manipulative, and this Leo knows that, and he can't be manipulated at all. He's like, I'm going to do what I want. I like Libra. <laughs> all right. Libra's dealing with Virgo. Let's see what's going on with my Libras dealing with Virgos. Spirit, give me a message for the Libras connected to Virgos, please, and thank you. What's going on with Libras dealing with Virgos? Libras dealing with Virgi Virgs. Libras dealing with Virgos. Let's get two more shuffles. Libras dealing with Virgos. There could be a Virgo woman in your energy. She's a distorted feminine. She's a karmic. And she's very money hungry. Be mindful of this. This person may want to ask you for something or just be around you to see how they can use you, how they can get something out of you, okay? This person may even be bold enough to ask you for some shit. Libra, you showing up as the empress, okay? You are the divine feminine. Day. You are big empress energy. Shout out to you, baby. There's a Virgo that may feel like a cycle is closing out and they don't want it to. This person want to come back around. They they feeling like you you two have some sort of unfinished business. This person is in heavy regret. They're disappointed. They're heartbroken. Look at this shit. Look how this one came out. This Virgo is in a feeling, child. Somebody here could have Libra placements. This Virgo could have Libra placements. Um, they could have Scorpio placements, okay? They have Pisces placements, Aquarius placements. Whoever this Virgo is, Libra, they want to spin a block. They want to come back around. This is somebody that you already know, okay? This ain't nobody new. This is somebody that want to spin a block. They want to come around, okay? Like I said, this Virgo could have Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Pisces in their chart for some of you. If you know this person's placements, I don't know, but... Yeah, this person is like, me and Libra got unfinished business. I'm coming back towards Libra. I'm about to spend a block. I want to talk to Libra. I want to talk to Libra now. This is somebody that y'all got blocked, though. For some of y'all, you got this person blocked, or you could be ignoring them. They feel like they can't connect with you. They feel like you don't want to talk to them, but they still going to try their luck. Okay, some of you could be seeing 888, or this person could be seeing 888. Yeah, y'all don't feel connected to this person. This person could have Leo in their chart, too. This is a... This is a distorted person here. This person is karmic as fuck. This ain't somebody that's good for you, Libra. This Virgo ain't no good for you. They gonna have a Leo moon. 
for some of you, this person could have a Leo or a Libra moon. But whoever this Virgo is, they're karmic. Yeah, you guys, the feelings are not mutual. They want to come back around and feel like you two have unfinished business, but you're not feeling this person. Some of y'all are not even attracted to this person. This shit is not going to pop off. Some of y'all feel like this person is childish. They also feel like they sabotage having a new beginning with you because they was being childish. This For some of you, this person could have hid a child from you. Oh, yeah, that's a red fucking flag. That's a hell no. Anybody that hide their children... Uh-uh, that's a no. But yeah, this person was gossiping or working together with multiple people to try to hurt you in some way. But they feel like you somebody that is angelic. They feel like you're an angel. Empress and a temperance. They feel like you're a good person. You're a good woman. You're a divine feminine. You're an angelic divine being. They feel like they shouldn't have did that. This person is in heavy regret. They feel like they should have just came towards you and told you what they wanted or told you that they missed you they hate that they try to fuck you over or try to hurt and harm you in some way this person feels like you're getting a lot of attention six of wands libra some of y'all could be um in a public eye but this person feels like you're getting a lot of rewards a lot of recognition a lot of attention and they know that you protect it they also know that all your blessings all your opportunities is are protected like they know everything that's coming to you is protected yeah that's the truth ace of swords and they could be fighting with other people here Somebody here could have got locked up. Somebody here could be in jail. Somebody could have a Sagittarius moon, strong Sagittarius placements. But it's like, yeah, there's um, an authority figure that's watching this person and going to lock this person up. Or they're going to lock somebody up that they was working together with. And now this person is in heavy regret because they know that somebody that they was working together with has legal issues now. So it's like now this person wants to be like your friend. They don't want to be your enemy no more. Or they don't want to wish you ill anymore. They actually want to say sorry. They're done trying to cause you issues, cause you pain, cause you drama, cause you pain and suffering. They actually want to make you a love offer now. What the fuck? This is somebody f from your past that's very bitter. Like, now they want to come towards you, make a love offer. Knight of Cups to the Ace of Cups. There's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here that they was working together with to take something from you that is upset. There could also be a feminine energy around them or a mother figure that's really um, coaching this person on what to say or how to come towards you because they feel like you the best person for their son or you're going to help their son uh, win in some way. You're going to help their son's life level up. Yeah, what the fuck? These people are watching you in secret. They could also be a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart that's upset or watching you watching you in secret as well. They can't believe that things are working out in your favor. This is a whole bunch of shit going on and there's way too many fucking people in here. These, these people are thieves. All of these people that I'm picking up on that's feeling some type of way, they're thieves. They're getting karma. They're under judgment. Yeah, I can't make it up. Judgment in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. The Tower of the Emperor reverse. Somebody here is a distorted masculine was abusing their power and authority to take some shit from you, Libra. And now they feel like they got to give it up because you're too protected. Somebody here feels like you're too protected. All your blessings, all your all your um, good fortune or everything that God has in store for you is protected. You're still going to get it. That's how somebody's viewing you. Somebody here knows you're an earth angel. Somebody here did so much shit to you that they had no choice but to find out you're an earth angel. I also feel like the way something is backfiring is also telling somebody that you're somebody that of importance. You're someone of great um, importance here. You have a high ranking in the spiritual realm. Somebody here knows that because they was attacking you. Somebody here know that shit. So they like, nah, nah, you know, like, let, let's let let this shit go. And um, yeah, and then somebody mama like, yeah, yeah, go towards Libra, be with Libra. Like, it's just a whole bunch of shit going on here. Libra, y'all, y'all figure this shit out the way y'all see fit for y'all. I know everybody's story a little different, but it's too much going on here. And it's too many fucking people involved. Libra, you showing up as the empress. I feel like you definitely cut somebody off or you block somebody. And you need to keep it that way. Because whoever that person is, they ain't no good for you. And they mama is the opportunist. They're opportunists. Like, these are people that they marry for money or they get together with people to see what they can take from people. Like, or what they could get out of people. It's like somebody here looking for uh, help. They ain't looking for love. You know, so just be mindful. All right. Libra. Libra's dealing with uh, Libra's. What's going on with the Libra's dealing with Libra's? Libra's connected to other Libra's, please and thank you. Libra's dealing with Libra's. Give me two more shuffles for the Libra's connected to other Libra's. Libra's dealing with other Libra's. Okay, we got a jumper, the hangman in the reverse. We'll see if that come back out. Somebody here could feel like they were trying to set up a trap for you, but they got caught in their own trap. Yeah, and so somebody don't want to fight with you no more. 
yeah, Ten of Swords. Somebody here down bad. Somebody here was gossiping or working together with multiple people. Somebody here could have been trying to cause a delay to your blessings. But somebody here definitely is um saying that, you know, you got it, Libra. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Because your ancestors done came and, and whooped my ass or I feel bad about what I did. Or somebody here down bad. Somebody here could have been working with a Gemini or a Cancer or a Virgo or a Scorpio. Somebody here could have been trying to attack your emperor. And now they're going through an extreme time moment. Look, yo, this shit is coming out crazy. This is somebody in your family for some of you. Or this is somebody that you used to be friends with. This is somebody that y'all know. Okay. Strong Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, Cancer energy here. We got Aries here. It's a whole bunch of shit going on here, Libra. I cut the deck right on you, Justice. You receiving justice in this situation, Libra. But there's a group of people here that was trying to cause a delay for you and the Emperor here. You and your Emperor could be separated for some of you. Somebody here knows you're going to be happy. Somebody here knows you're going to be happy. Or somebody here knows that you have clarity about what it is that they did to you. And how toxic they asses are. Somebody here could have been working together with a Capricorn. Yeah, strong Capricorn, Scorpio, and Taurus energy here. All these people under judgment. Somebody here got an entity attachment. Or somebody here owes the devil. Somebody here made a bad deal. They, they made a contract with the devil. Somebody here can't fulfill a contract. And they feel like some judgment angels is on their ass. Somebody here could also feel like your ancestors is on their ass. Somebody here feels worried, they're scared, they're nervous, they're concerned. Somebody here feel like they can, they need to sleep with one eye open. Somebody here feel like, and this is a supernatural, this is something supernatural. Somebody here feel like some supernatural forces is coming for them for betraying you. Ciao. Oh, okay. <coughs> mm -mm. Somebody here know you getting your wish fulfillment. You a fucking high priestess. Somebody here feels like you're a high priestess. You could be very intuitive, Libra. Again, with you receiving clarity with the sun. High priestess and the sun. Some of you could be pregnant as well. Congratulations. Somebody here could have been doing womb magic on you to stop a pregnancy or to block you from getting pregnant. That's not going to work. That's not going to happen. You're showing up as the queen of swords and the queen of cups. You're very loving. Okay. You're, and with the queen of swords here and the queen of cups, like you stand in your ground. You could be protecting yourself, but you also have a lot of protection, Libra. It's like, even if you... um. Some of y'all are definitely working hard to protect yourselves, but even if you're not, it's like you have protection anyway. Everything is turning out in your favor. God's timing, God's plan. You are in perfect alignment with divine timing, the will of fortune, and the upright. Will of fortune, four of wands, the sun, and the justice, and the high priestess. Oh, Libra, you winning. You you have one. You're moving forward triumphantly. Yeah, and this shit is happening pretty fast. Somebody is finding this out. They're upset. Somebody's finding out that you're good and this is causing them restlessness. They're mad. They're watching you. They're pissed off. They hate what they see. They hate a message that they receive, some sort of information or documentation that they're reading is pissing them off. They hate the fact that something is picking up for you. Something here is happening fast for you. You're going towards a new beginning. You have your wish fulfillment. You're in a relationship or you're with your emperor or you're getting married. You're pregnant. You will be pregnant. Somebody here is pissed off. There's a distorted karmic woman that's upset as well because they was attacking your emperor. This is somebody that your emperor could have separated from your emperor don't love this person and they mad because they know that your emperor don't love this person and they want to be with you yeah your emperor could be ghosting this karmic woman this karmic woman feels rejected this karmic woman is upset because the cycle has closed out with your emperor and they upset because you and your emperor are both protected there was massive attacks being thrown at you and your emperor and somebody here is fucking upset because you get injustice and victory in this situation and so is your emperor and that's the fucking truth ace of swords these people fucking mad when I tell you they're mad, they could even be fighting each other now or blaming shit on each other. These people are fighting. There's a lot of conflict amongst them. Okay, somebody here could be a Sagittarius. Five of Wands, Tempers Reverse, and a Ten of Wands. These people are fighting. Shit is up in flames for these people. They turning against each other. I promise you they are. But with the Ace of Cups here, Libra, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, the Justice, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, there's an equal give and take connection here. You getting everything you deserve, everything you wish, hope, dream, prayed for. I mean, it's all coming together very beautifully here. And these people just feel like they wasted their fucking time. This is wasted time. This is wasted energy. Somebody here has caused issues for themselves that they didn't have by coming for you. Somebody here caused unnecessary issues in their own life. Fucking with you or fucking with this emperor. Fucking with both of y'all. Because this was a hell no. Okay, this was a hell no. And I'm hearing y'all got heavy fucking hitters in the spirit realm. Y'all got some heavy fucking hitters. And it's not only about spirit protection right now. Some of y'all got some legal protection as well. Okay, some of y'all got legal protection as well that's around you. 
Somebody here could be in a justice system, a judicial system that's protecting you, that's watching you. Somebody here is also watching this person or watching these people. These people got a lot of shit that they need to be concerned about. I wouldn't be concerned about you, Libra, if I was these people. These people need to be concerned about the law, about the judicial system, about the legal system. That's what the fuck they need to be worried about. Instead of worried about who you screwing, who you with, who you connecting with, who your emperor is, who you loving, who you going to marry. They don't need, that should be the least of their worries. Because I'm telling you, it's some big shit going on here. Somebody here could even be getting caught up on some past shit that don't even got nothing to do with you or this emperor. That's what the fuck they need to be concerned about. Okay? Somebody here, phone is tapped as well. Child, it's a lot fucking going on. It's a lot of messages. It's a lot of downloads that I'm receiving. That's what the fuck these people need to be worried about. They don't need to be worried about what you got going on here. Somebody here could be um, a Li another Libra, a Taurus. Yeah, Libra dealing with Libra. Somebody here could be a Taurus, a Libra. Okay, a Cancer, a Gemini. Somebody here could have that in their chart. Somebody here need to be worried, okay, about their legal issues. I'm telling you, justice. Justice is being served in the situation. Somebody here worried about you, Libra, and what you doing. And I'm telling you, somebody here got bigger fucking fish to fry. They got bigger shit that they need to be worried about. You should be the least of their worries. Okay, there's a king of swords in the reverse that's feeling stuck here. Oh, this person is under this person is under heavy surveillance. They're feeling like under pressure here. There could be a private investigator or some sort of there could be federal agents on this case. This is a legal case for some of y'all. There's feds watching this. Oh my god, it's just so much going on. I'm moving on. Okay, I'm not helping no fucking karmics. Let them let them fall. Fuck it. The fuck they was trying to hurt you, so fuck them. I ain't helping them. But they need to be worried about some other shit. There you are again, Empress. They don't need to be worried about you. They watching you, wanting you to like, wanting to block your blessings, wanting to stop your new beginning, wanting to make sure that you don't invest in your emperor or your emperor don't invest in you. Like I said, that should be these pre that should be these people least. That should be the least of their worries, their concern. Okay, for real, <laughs> for fucking real. And that's the God on the truth. Because there's some big shit happening here for these people. And this, I mean, the devil all in this. The devil's coming to collect is what I heard. I'm hearing some other shit, but I don't feel comfortable even saying that shit on here. It's a lot going on for this person, these people. And like I said, you and this emperor need to be somebody's... They don't need to be concerned about neither one of y'all. Or that's how it's about to play out. Like, these people so concerned about y'all. Shit is about to get so crazy for these people that they not even going to be thinking about you or this emperor. Because they're going to have too much shit that they're going to need to tend to. For real. Um, Let's see what's going on with Libra's dealing with Scorpio's child. Oh, goodness. Libra's dealing with Scorpio's, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on with the Libra's dealing with Scorpio's? Libras connected to Scorpios, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Give me two more shuffles for the Libras connected to Scorpios. Hmm. Libras connected to Scorps. Please and thank you, Libras connected to Scorpio. The High Priestess. Somebody here could have a Pisces or a Virgo moon. Libra, somebody here could be getting readings on you, or maybe you getting readings on this Scorpio. Somebody here is definitely spying on another person through divination. Somebody here could also just be watching a lot of tarot. It's like this Scorpio could be watching Libra readings, feeling like they're getting information on you. Okay, but that's not how that shit really worked, but whatever. Um, or Libra, you could be watching readings. You could be watching Scorpio readings, trying to see what's going on in the Scorpio life. Y'all take it as a resonate. Um... I feel like there's a third party situation going on here for sure. Definitely strong third party energy. Um, I just feel like this is about to be a lot. So give me a second. Let me drink some water. I feel like I'm picking up on a lot. I feel like this is about to be a lot. Libra, you could also be a high priestess. You could be very intuitive. Give me something on this high priestess. You intuitively know that somebody not worth investing in. <laughs> you intuitively know that somebody hasn't changed their player ways. Okay? You intuitively know this. You intuitively know that somebody's still a player. They haven't changed their player ways. You may feel like this person is messaging you only for sex. They messaging you to just have a good time with you. Yeah, that's the truth. You know the truth about this person. You don't trust this person. Okay? You moving forward. The cycle's closing out. But this person feel like it's time for them to come back. 
they feel like you're not answering their messages their messages is not getting through to you this person is a third party situation if they have a family with somebody they're married to someone share a home with someone they're in a relationship they could be giving you a message that they unhappy and they want to be with you they want to make you an offer i feel like you don't care you don't care you like listen try to work that out with shorty and if you can't that's too damn bad. But you can't come over here. You can't fuck on me. You can't be around me. I'm not about to sneak and meet up with you. We're not about to bust no sneaky links. That shit is clip. I'm done with you. Like, I really feel like it's some shit like that going on. I feel like you rejecting a Scorpio. Good. Good for them? Yeah, Tower. But they telling you that they leaving somebody. This person is breaking up with someone or they moving out or they leaving a home or shit is falling apart for them and this person. This person could be filing for divorce if they not. Like these people are actually separating. They're breaking up. Ten of Cups reverse, Four of Wands reverse in the Tower. But I feel like you don't care. It's like I don't care. Like this person could be excited to tell you that things are finally over between them and this other person. And you just like, okay, what that mean? Because I'm sitting in the Nine of Cups. I don't give a fuck. But this person's like, but I love you, Libra. I love you, okay? It's over. I divorced her. This person could even be saying that they divorced somebody, but somebody else filed for divorce. It wasn't them. Somebody else left them. But they don't want you to know that. They want you to think that they left, okay? This person was never going to leave. This person has left them. But I feel like they're giving, they spinning a message as if they broke up with this person or they left this person. It did not happen like that. This person is the fucking emperor in the reverse. This is somebody that's very stubborn, very set in their ways, okay? Like I said, this person was going to try to continue to juggle you and this other person that they're connected to or share a home with or married to or in a relationship with in some way. But they they can't. They can't anymore. Or you not doing it. You not, you not with the shits. Yeah, they was going to try to juggle you. I can't make it up. Two of Pentacles came out as soon as I said that. After I said that, the Two of Pentacles came out. I'm getting a lot of downloads. I don't need these fucking cards, okay? These cards are just extra tools, you know, it's for entertainment purposes. I don't need these fucking cards. I know what the fuck going on here. I can finish this message without even pulling anything else. Libra, you showing up? No, this person is showing up as the Empress Reverse. Yeah, here we go with the Scorpio energy right here. This person could have Taurus in their chart. They're very non-committal. And this person wants every fucking thing to go their way. They want to be with this person and they want to be with you. And I feel like that shit is a done deal. It's not working no more. Either you have fully cut this person off and walked away or this person that they was living with, this person that they were with has fully disconnected from them. They're cutting them off. This person thought that they was just going to have both of you, period. Like, that's what they wanted. That, that was their plan. I'm going to have my family. I'm going to have my home. And I'm going to come fuck on you, Libra, when I feel like it because you just going to let me because I'm that nigga. Like, that's somebody's attitude. I don't know who y'all was dealing with, but this person feel like they the shit, baby. And they could do whatever they want, okay? They could have you, her, they, them, okay? Them over there. This person's a thought. <laughs> yeah. I haven't said that word in a long time. This person's a thought. It's a man. He's a fucking thought, okay? This person sees that you're happy and they're mad. They're stressed out because you're happy. Somebody here could be telling this person... Somebody here could be watching you for this person and communicating back to this person that you're happy. And they like, what? Libra happy? Fuck out of here. Libra not happy. I'm not over there. Libra not happy. I'm, Libra only happy if I'm over there. Libra only happy if I'm fucking with them. And somebody's like, no, actually, boss, Libra's happy. Yeah, judgment has been called in this situation. Libra, you could have a Virgo Venus, a Virgo Moon, Virgo Rising, a Virgo North Node. You got some strong Virgo placements for some of you. But I feel like you in solitude or you just want to be left the fuck alone when it comes to this person. You don't want to deal with this person. A lot of y'all feel like this person is toxic. This person wants you to just be like their sex slave or some shit. This person got a lot of um sexual energy to geared towards you. Like, it's something here where this person could be like, they have like this insatiable desire or they got like these fantasies or some shit. What the fuck? This person want to do some things to you, okay? And this person just wants you to be in this low vibrational energy. Like, they want you to be, like, um, addicted to sex just like them. But I feel like you're healing. You're evolving. You're tapping into your independence. You're, you're tapping into your higher power, Libra. Okay? Temper to the nine of pentacles. It's like you are leveling up. You're having an ascension. You're having an awakening. You got a big heart. You got strong Pisces in your chart, whoever I'm talking to. Whatever Libra this resonates for, I feel like you got strong Pisces in your chart. This person is trying to do some sort of sex magic, love spells on you. You could even be having dreams about this person. You're having dreams about them because they're trying to visit you in your dreams. They're trying to invade your dreams. This person could even be trying to f f fuck on you in your dreams. Some of y'all could be having sex dreams about this person. They doing too fucking much. God is calling, uh, God, God, Lord, God is calling judgment on this situation with the judgment and the upright and the world card. This is over. Because this person is just doing too much. 
This person is, it, I mean, it's a distorted feminine connected to them that's trying to attack you while you're sleeping. And then this person is trying to send you love spells and sexual energy and trying to sleep with you while you sleep. It's like a succubus, incubus demon. It's just, oh, I cannot. Libra, this is a no. This is a fuck no. Okay, you hear me? This is a hell no. This shit is... is karmic and toxic and low vibrational as fuck and you intuitively know that which is why you clipping this shit you walking away from it baby you are protected okay you are just know you are protected you guys you got a powerful spirit team and ancestors that's protecting you i feel like this person is worried now they're worried about what they did they feel like they shouldn't have did it they should have reconsidered okay like this person is worried yeah they work together with other people to invade your space, invade your privacy, to fuck on you and your dream state. Like, it's just a whole bunch of shit going on. And they're worried because you intuitive. With the high priestess here, this person is concerned because they know you be fucking knowing. Your intuition got somebody like, I don't know, it got somebody like that pedal. It got somebody worried like, yo, we can't really get over on this person. Lord, let's move on to my Libras dealing with Sagis. Libras connected to Sagittarius, please and thank you. Somebody here could be connected to a Cancer as well, or have Cancer in their chart with the Chariot in the reverse. But this Sagittarius could be feeling stagnant right now, or they could be disappointed with the Five of Cups. They could be in heavy regret. They may feel like you don't trust them. Somebody here could have strong Aquarius placements as well. Yeah, they feel like you don't trust them. Mm -hmm. Somebody here could be connected to an Aquarius or a Capricorn. This could be people in a family. Whoever this um, Sagittarius is, they feel like you don't trust them. Okay, Libra? This person feel like you don't trust them. They also feel like a lot of people that's connected to you don't like them. And they feel like that is working against them in some way when it comes to get, getting back into your good graces. They feel like there's people connected to you, Libra that is blocking them from coming towards you yeah they want to come towards you though five of pentacles in the reverse this person feels abandoned they feel left out in the cold they feel like they have no place in your life and they hate this they want to come back around they want to talk to you they want to be with you they want to see what's good with you they hate not being around you they hate not having you around yeah they unhappy this person is very unhappy without you this person could be talking shit with other people though it's like they unhappy without you. They want to come back around. But at the same time, they're talking shit about you because they angry with you. <laughs> okay? So this person got, they feeling a million different feelings at once. I feel like their emotions is is up and down. It's like a fucking seesaw. One minute, they, they saying they love you. They want to be with you. They trying to come back into your life. They want to get into your good graces. The next minute, they calling you all types of whores, bitches, and sluts, and motherfuckers. Okay? Like this person... I mean, what the fuck? This person has been exposed for doing some sort of spell work on you. And now they feel like it's not working. This person was trying to send conflict your way. This person wanted you to argue with them. They wanted you to say something to them. Mm -hmm. they, they wanted your attention by any means necessary. Even if it was negative attention, they didn't care. They just wanted your attention. So I feel like this person went behind the scenes, started sending you energy, sending you conflict energy, conflict and chaos spells. Um, this person could have also been connected with other people to do this, okay? There was a lot of gossip here between them and other people. They was talking a lot of shit. They was talking hella shit about you. And I feel like they've been exposed for the gossip, the slander, and the magic. And I feel like nothing's working, okay? That's the fucking truth. Nothing's working. Libra, you still in this nine of pentacles energy. Yeah, that's the truth. Everything I said is the truth. Ace of Swords fell out right after I said that. That's the truth. The truth is being exposed about this person and what they've been up to, how they've been lying on you, slandering you. This person, whatever. Like, this shit is stupid, okay? Like, this shit is dumb. I'm sorry, it is. It's just dumb. Um, somebody here could be falling ill. Somebody here could be sick. Somebody here was working together with a Leo or a Pisces, a Gemini, another Libra, a Virgo, a Taurus. All of these people were in cahoots working together and they all mad because you know the truth. You know what they've been up to. You know what they've been saying about you. The spell is broken and never... Shit, that shit never even got up off the ground for some of y'all. Somebody here was throwing shit at you and that shit ain't even get up off the ground. I feel like it's a bunch of fucking people 
that can't even affect you. It's like all of them could be working at the same time or they getting a lot of different practitioners or they paying a lot of different people. They doing a lot of different magic. They they coming at you in, at all angles and none of that shit is working. Because you outrank these people, your protection is crazy. Yeah, somebody here fucking mad. They mad because you still good too. Nine of Cups. Like Libra. You still in this Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles energy. And this got somebody like, what? How the fuck is that even possible? Like, these motherfuckers here trying to figure out how is it that you're still in the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups energy when they did all of this? Like, somebody here don't understand. Like, they like, but that doesn't make sense because, you know, so-and-so was the top practitioner in the tri-state. You know, like, it's really giving some energy like that. Like, they don't understand. Yeah, these motherfuckers is watching you. There could be an Aquarius that's watching you, reporting back to these people, or there was somebody with strong Aquarius or Libra in their chart that was watching you. For some of you, this could even be like distorted family members, karmic family members. Some of you could have a distorted boss or a father figure or an older gentleman, a masculine, or just somebody that has kids that could be in your family that was behind this shit doing this. Now somebody is missing you. I also feel like you got a karmic masculine that was behind the scenes working together with these people as well. This person wants to talk to you. They miss you. But the cycle has closed out between you and this person. You're being protected from this person. Spirit is making sure that you avoid this person because they're toxic. This person could be an Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. But things have fully ended. Things have um completed. This cycle is definitely closed out. There's no unfinished business here. With the tower in the world, this shit is a done deal. It's a done dollar. Okay? Like Rich Lop say. Some of y'all watch Rich. I watch Rich. I like him. But it's a done fucking deal. It's a done dollar. I'm hearing rich. Done dollar. <laughs> that shit is a done dollar. Somebody here was abusing their power and authority to cause a time moment in your life. And that shit backfired like a motherfucker. That shit done backfired in somebody's finances too. Like somebody here finances is decreasing rapidly. It's something here about somebody losing money fast. Like... Even if somebody got a job, it's like they could be working a hundred fucking hours a week and they check it's just it's gone because they got so much shit that they gotta pay for. It's like something here catching up to somebody, some old debt is catching up to somebody. Old karmic debt and old actual financial debt. Somebody here could have like they shit in collections. They could be receiving letters about what they owe. Somebody here owes the tax, old owes the IRS. Something about some sort of taxes. A tax fraud. Somebody here owe the IRS. Oh, somebody done fucked up. Yeah, they heavily burdened and weighed down. Somebody here feel blocked. They feel stuck. They owe somebody. This person is depressed. They don't have the money to pay. You moving forward, Libra, with the chariot. Somebody here is mad because you and this nine of pentacles, nine of cups energy. You moving forward. Somebody here was trying to block your road. Okay? Somebody here did something. Somebody here could even went to the crossroads to block your path. That shit did not work. You're building healthy connections. You're meeting members of your soul tribe. You have positive people around you. Yeah, your wishes is being granted. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Your wish fulfillment is here. Yeah, you're receiving opportunities. You're receiving love. You're receiving every fucking thing that you want. Any and everything that you want, Libra, the shit is here. It's coming in. And somebody here is like, fuck, like. I feel like somebody here just really can't believe this shit. Somebody here head fucking hurting. Somebody here got headaches. Somebody here could be suffering from headaches. Somebody here could also been wanting to cause pressure or headaches for you, but now they the one that got the pressure and headache. Somebody here could also have high blood pressure, which is why they have headaches. It's a lot of shit going on here. A lot of shit going on here. Somebody here just like fuck everything and fuck everybody. And that's somebody's attitude right now. They so frustrated. Let me get the hell out of this energy. I don't like this energy. Somebody here is overwhelmed. Okay? Like, overwhelmed. Like, really, really, like... Like, somebody here feel like they can't see straight. Somebody here, eyesight could be affected, too. Like, somebody here may need to go get an eye test or get some glasses or renew their prescription. Um, But it's just... It's a lot going on. I, I don't know. I just... I, I can't deal with that energy. I just can't. That message is over and done with. Y'all see how toxic that shit is. It ain't nothing else to talk about. Mm -mm. Hell motherfucking no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. To the no, no. <laughs> Hell no, this shit ain't even lighting. Hell fucking no, Libra. Hell no. Hell no, hell no. To the niggity no, 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 no. 
Libra, what the hell going on with these people, child? Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. <laughs> Libra, hell to the no. <laughs> Libra said, hell to the no. Hell to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, to the no, no. To the no, no, no. Nah, but no funny shit. Whoever's in that energy, even though they went up against you, Libra, and they wanted to see you suffer and hurt, I actually um, hope that person healed because the energy that they in is very sad. And I don't know. Even people that try to hurt me or wish me ill or go against me, it's like when I see what's going on or when I see how they feel and shit like that, I still just be feeling bad. Like, I can't explain it. I do. So I just... Libra, you know I'm on your side, Libra. But it's just like, I hope whoever that is, I hope that they find peace. I hope they find solace. I hope they find God. I hope they find themselves. I hope they heal. I do. I really fucking do. I do. I do. So they, that they could stop hurting people or trying to hurt people. Because all they doing is actually hurting themselves. Like whoever I just picked up on, they try to hurt people. And then the, and the only person that they really, really, truly hurt be themselves. Like I hope that person heal. It's never too late to change your life around. It's never too late to connect with spirit, to connect with source. It's never too late. I, I feel like that. So, you know, I'm wishing that person healing and peace. I am. I am. I really am. I feel like everybody has some sort of goodness in their heart, you know. I know some people, that's that's an unpopular opinion. And that's just my belief. That's my opinion, you know. I know everybody not going to agree with me. But I do feel like some people, you know, have some goodness in their heart. I don't know why people be doing the things they do. Somebody here just hurt, man. Somebody hurt. I don't know. Let's move on to, um, who was that? I was Sagittarius. Libra, you were Sagittarius? I don't know what the hell be going on with y'all. Like, it be some shit with y'all all the time. Um, let's see what's going on with my Libras dealing with Capricorn. Let's show. Libras connected to Capricorns. What's going on with Libras dealing with Capricorns? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on with the Libras? Dealing with Capricorns. Give me a message for Libra dealing with Capricorn. Uh, Libra, somebody here watching you. This Capricorn could be watching you, child. They like, what Libra doing? <laughs> what Libra doing? What Libra up to? This person want to know what you're doing, what you got going on, Libra. Who you doing it with? All right. Yeah, what a fortune in the reverse. They could be feeling like they're receiving some sort of karma right now or bad news or they feel like shit just not working out the way that they want it to. But they watching you though. They said, Libra, are you are you having similar experiences? Are you getting karma as well, or are you good? I feel like, ooh, ten of pentacles and the upright tower. I feel like somebody here wanted to put an end into your finances, but motherfucker, you are a money magnet. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, you showing up as a money magnet, or this Capricorn is. Y'all take it as it resonates. I, I told y'all the roles can be. Flip, they could be interchangeable. But somebody here got their money magnet. Somebody here has healed so much that all they attract is goodness. Like somebody here got the secret sauce, the magic potion. Like somebody here just walk outside and stumble across money on the ground. Who the fuck be finding money in, in, on the ground in 2024? Like it's just somebody here's just their money magnet. I'm getting here that somebody attracts great fortune and opportunities effortlessly. Yeah, somebody here has planted some seeds. Somebody here could also be manifesting some shit now that they tried to manifest a year ago or two years ago, but it's coming in now. Somebody here could have even forgot what they was manifesting a year ago or, ten, or two years ago or so. And that shit coming in now is going to shock them. It's going to surprise them. It's money. Somebody here has been calling in wealth or calling in blessings and prosperity. And that shit is here. It has arrived. It's coming in. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, my God. It's a lot here. Somebody here watching this. Somebody here could even be getting locked up or they are locked up, but they got people on the outside watching you, Libra. So if somebody here got locked up, they got other people that are actually free watching them for you. 
and reporting back to them, accepting their calls and reporting back to them what they see. <laughs> like it's some shit like that going on too. Somebody here could be dealing with somebody's karmic ass family or this person got karmic family members. A cycle has closed out with you and whoever this is, child. There's a queen of cups in the reverse here that feel like you're not dealing with them no more and they upset. Libra, you showing up as the empress. Some of you could have like a karmic mother or a karmic woman, just a karmic distorted feminine around you. This person could have children. They may not even be the best mother. They don't even fuck with their kids. They don't like their kids. They don't love their kids. I hate to say that about somebody, that, but that's the message I'm getting, okay? Somebody here could also have addiction. Somebody here could drink a lot or... Um, yeah, somebody here could have an alcohol addiction. Somebody here could drink a lot. They don't... Somebody here be too invested in the wrong shit or in their own addictions and toxic behaviors and shit that they don't pay attention to their children. I feel like somebody here... Why am I getting... What? Oh, no, this is bad. But Libra, you got the... Libra, you showing up as the Empress, baby, with the Six of Wands. You receiving some sort of good news, celebration, victory, and success. Um, things are being made clear to you. You could be getting some sort of information or downloads about this Capricorn or this situation. But you see something clearly here. I feel like you happy, too. With the Empress, the Sun, and the Six of Wands, you happy. Some of y'all could also be pregnant um, with the Empress and the Sun. Congratulations, Libra, if you're pregnant. Um, but some of you will be pregnant soon. Yeah, there's a love offer that's coming in. It's happening pretty quickly. Or there's just opportunities and offers coming to you really fast. And it's all making you happy. It's like music to your ears. Yeah, you could be in a divine union or you about to be. And it's protected. Your union is protected. Your womb is protected. This baby, this happiness, this love, this this generational wealth, this legacy that you build in this empire that you build in. Everything is protected. Libra, you showing up as a, a star. <clears throat> Some of you could be healers, okay? Yeah, you could be healers or you could teach people how to heal. You could encourage people how to heal. You could be like a, a leader or a teacher of some sort. People look up to you or people seek your advice. You help others. You love helping people. You get great pleasure out of helping others and helping others heal. Yeah, nine of cups. That's a part of your life purpose to help people heal, to help people get their credit right or to help people um, with their finances, to help people on their journeys, on their spiritual journeys, on their path. Like that's a part of your purpose to help people better themselves, better their life to level the fuck up. This is why anything that somebody do to you, it, it can't, any, any negative plans or negative intentions that somebody has for you, that shit immediately backfires because you are needed in this world. Like, you are literally somebody that's helping the masses or you help a lot of fucking people. You're a magician. You may even make products. Some of you could have a spiritual business. You make products or something. You help people. Like, you don't do anything to help people hurt others. You help people heal and help themselves. And this is why you so protected because God needs you to continue to do this. Like you're in your life purpose. This is what you're supposed to be doing. I just got chills all over my fucking body as I said that. Yeah, will of fortune in reverse. Anybody that tries to block you or stop you or throw you off your path or, or take you off your path, they get they get they ask for. They do. And they realizing this shit too. Somebody here is putting the pieces together. Like every time I say something negative about Libra or I try to attack Libra or I wish them ill. There's challenges and obstacles and blockages for me. Somebody here sees that you still moving freely. You still independent. Somebody here is like, yo, fuck it. I guess Libra is needed. I guess Libra is doing what they need to do. Like somebody here may have been looking at you in a negative way. And now they could be getting clarity about who you truly are. And they feel bad now. Somebody here also feel like they lost their protection. If this person had any type of protection, oh, baby, they ain't got no protection now. And this person out in the open, jail, And they depressed, they disappointed, they sad. Somebody here could even be scared to just do regular shit because they feel like something could happen to them at any given moment. Somebody here could be scared to drive because they feel like they're going to get into an accident. Somebody here could just be afraid right now to just do anything. Somebody here like, let me just stay still. Let me just play it safe. You know, let me just, you know... Be on a straight and narrow, play it safe, because any at any given moment, some shit could pop off for me. Like, somebody here feels worried, they're nervous, they're concerned. Somebody here has anxiety, and it's, like, strong anxiety. Like, it's just, like, it's like an overwhelming sense of fear. Like, what the fuck? Somebody here could have wanted you to feel that way. They feel that way, though. Somebody here feels weak as well. Somebody here is tired. 
Somebody hit confirmation. Somebody hit can't sleep enough. It's like, it don't matter how many hours of sleep they get. They just, they tired. Somebody's overwhelmed. They're drained. Somebody here could be a Leo or a Virgo. They could have that in their chart. Somebody here could be a water sign. They could have strong water in their chart. Or a Taurus. Yeah, somebody here know they abused their power. They know what they did was wrong. Somebody here know what they did was wrong. Because the way this shit is turning out, the way this is playing out, the way this is backfiring, somebody here knows for a fact what they did was wrong. It's like... Somebody here knew they was doing wrong when they was doing it, but they could have felt like it was justified for some way. That's why I said somebody had some sort of distorted view about you. Or somebody here could have thought maybe you was hurting others or you was helping people hurt others. Like, even if you got like a spiritual business or you do something spiritual, right? It's like somebody here could have thought that you was using your gifts for ill or you was teaching people how to like block people or hurt people or stop people. Like maybe you was doing like black magic and shit like that, but you're not, you're a healer. Like you helping people heal from trauma. You helping people, you know, build their lives up or get their lives back on track after taking some sort of fall or, you know, suffering. You help people like heal from addictions and trauma and abuse and shit. Cause you've been through a lot Libra. So it's like you've healed a lot. And you're still healing. The healing is never done. But you've healed to a point where you can actually help others because you've been through a lot that people have been through or that are, that people are currently going through. So it's like you inspire and you heal them. You help. Well, you don't heal them because we don't heal people. We help others heal themselves. Like we give you the tools and the guidance that you need in order to heal yourself. We can't heal you, but we can help you heal. You know what I mean? Like a true healer, a real healer can't heal you. They just help you heal. They, they tell you what you need to do or they, like I said, they give you the tools, the guidance and the information that you need that's necessary in order for your healing process to be successful. And Libra, I feel like that's what you do. But somebody here could have thought that that's not what you do. They thought you did the complete opposite. And so they felt like whatever they was doing, it was it was going to be cleared. It was it was warranted. It was going to work. But now somebody is seeing like Libra, you actually be helping motherfuckers. My bad. I'm, I guess I'm sorry. I guess like I still don't like you. Um, it's just something about you. I don't fucking like you, but I guess you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. My bad. Like, it's something with, it's something like that, okay? Oh, child. I, I cannot. Some of y'all could also be staying away from a cappy because you feel like this person is not going to commit to you and you may want all or nothing. It's like, I'm sorry, baby, but I, if you can't commit to just me then this is not something that I want. This is not something that I want to sign up for. I feel like this Capricorn could be heavily burdened and weighed down because they really want to come back towards you. They want to be with you. This person could be trying to contact you, reach out to you, uh, talk to you, but you just could be saying no. Somebody here could also be trying to sleep with y'all and you could be saying no to that too. Okay. Oh Lord. What's going on with my Libras dealing with Aquarius? Libras connected to Aquarius, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. There we got Aquarius right there with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Father God, Holy Spirit, give me a message for the Libras dealing with Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person watch you. They watch you a lot, okay? They're very nosy. I feel like this person's very nosy. I'm sorry. I just got to give the message. This person is very fucking nosy. Um, but let's see. <laughs> I feel like you don't trust this person, okay? And they probably know you don't trust them, but they still watch you. <laughs> they like, I know Libra don't fuck with me. I know Libra don't trust me, and I know Libra know I'm watching them, but I'm going to still go ahead and look. <laughs> um, somebody here could have also been doing some spell work on you, and they're watching to see if it's working. It's not. Somebody here could have also been trying to attack your love life or try to block and stop a love offer from coming in, and they see that they can't stop that either. Oh, Lord. Okay, this person was working together with other people. Okay, but you still getting some sort of offer, some sort of opportunity. They're finding that out. Somebody here could have strong Pisces in their chart. Or they could have been working together with a Pisces. Somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. Um, this person is finding out that you're still getting something. I can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups here, both in the upright. Somebody here knows that you're still getting some sort of opportunity, some sort of offer. Something is coming in for you, Libra, that somebody here wanted to stop and block. And they made sure that they worked together with the right people. Somebody here feel like they had the right crew. Everybody had their, their fucking, um, their, their own task, their own mission, their own title. 
this person do this, this person do that, this person do this, this person do that. Like, okay, it's giving fucking, um, what's that movie? Suicide Squad? Like, Libra, there's an Aquarius that gathered a Suicide Squad to go up against you. And now these people finding out that you're still getting what they was trying to block. Yeah, somebody here was trying to block some shit for you. And you're still getting it. And they're heavily burdened and weighed down by this information. And somebody here feels like it's too much of a struggle. It's too hard to block your blessings. Because you're a fucking earth angel. And you're independent. And somebody don't understand this because you by yourself. Somebody here feels like you're by yourself or you're a solo person. Like they don't understand how their whole squad couldn't, couldn't take you out or take you down. Yeah, now these people are feeling sad or feeling depressed or just feeling like lackluster. They have low energy. Yeah, you still getting a Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here wanted to put an ending to your Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here was attacking your finances, attacking your stability, your foundation, your home, what have you. Any and everything that provides you of security, stability, and a strong foundation, somebody here was coming for that. They was gunning for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it didn't work out. You going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, you showing up as someone that's still balanced. Like, your balance is irritating someone. The fact that you have peace, harmony, and balance in your life, that shit is fucking irritating someone. Somebody is very irritated by the fact that you still balanced, that you still in this Nine of Pentacles energy here. Nine of Cups. I was just about to say the Nine of Cups. I was waiting for the Nine of Cups to come out. Libra, you still in this Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups energy, and you headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. And somebody here is like, I just, I don't understand how Libra still balanced. I don't understand how Libra cleared their energy. I don't understand how Libra, you know, got themselves out of this. The way we set this shit up or the, the maze that we had for Libra, the, the trap we had set up for Libra, I, I just don't understand how it didn't work. Because you're a fucking star. You're an earth angel. Temperance in the star. You're a fucking earth angel. You're somebody of great importance. You're somebody of high rank in the spirit realm. You got heavy hitters in the spirit realm as well is what I'm hearing. You're destined for greatness. Yeah, you a fucking high priestess. You could be very spiritual. You could have psychic gifts, psychic abilities. You very fucking tapped in. You showing up as the high priestess. You the real fucking deal, Holyfield. Okay, this ain't no Miss Cleo shit. And somebody here knows that you're really getting your wishes granted, your wish fulfilled. Your wish is fulfilled. Somebody here knows that the will is turning in your favor. Everything is working out in your favor. Somebody here could have been working with a Gemini or somebody was showing Gemini in their chart. These motherfuckers is mad. Somebody here said that you was a fake or you was a phony or some shit like that. And these motherfuckers is mad right now because they see your power. They see it now. It's like it's undeniable. It can't even be somebody here like they can't even fucking lie. They can't even deny this shit. They can't like your protection, your energy speaks for itself. God is calling judgment in the situation. You're a fucking emperor. Somebody's watching you. Somebody sees how protected you are. Somebody here is like, wow. I feel like some people in this situation is like actually like now they actually fuck with you so it's like people that didn't fuck with you actually fuck with you somebody here actually admires you somebody here may actually want to work with you and then you got other people that's just talking shit that's mad there's a queen of swords in the reverse that's fucking mad this is the biggest fucking hater this is somebody that here could have like teamed up all these people in the first fucking uh, first fucking place to go up against you this bitch is heavily mad, like heavily jealous and spying and mad. She mad because somebody don't love her. So she could have been doing this shit for a man that don't love her or a man that don't want to be with her no more. <sighs> Child, please. Somebody here is a, an air sign. They're a fellow air sign. It could be another Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. They could have Cancer or Pisces or Leo in their charge. She's a gold digger. Whoever this is, she's fucking mad. She's mad because she was telling everybody one thing about you and now everybody see that bitch you lying, Libra the real fucking deal. Whatever was done was an injustice, it was unlawful, it was unfair, this fucking cycle is closed out, this shit is done, let's wrap it up, the jig is fucking up. And everybody sees this distorted feminine, this karmic woman for who she really is. It's like, yo, you did all of this because you're jealous of this empress. Like somebody here could even be telling this woman this or they're about to. Like, yo, you, you got everybody involved in some bullshit because you're jealous of this person. We know that you're jealous of this person and that's why you was doing all of this shit. Like, let's really talk about it. This woman was not attacking you. This woman wasn't doing shit to you. This woman don't give a fuck about you. You are obsessed with this woman or somebody that you love that's not in love with you or somebody that you were trying to hold on to for selfish reasons that don't want to be held on. You're trying to keep somebody that don't want to be kept by you. It, you mad, bitch. You mad. You just mad. You're mad. You're mad. Like somebody here 
they may not be saying it to this person like this because they actually care about this person or they care about this person's feelings. But at the end of the day, this is how somebody is feeling towards this queen of swords in reverse. It's like, bitch, I know that you just fucking mad. Like, let's just be honest here. You just mad at this empress. This empress is pretty dope. But guess what? You dope too. Like, love yourself. Hell, what the fuck is wrong with you? You got all of us doing all this other dumb shit, getting all this karma off of some stupid shit that you done said. Like, bitch, you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, somebody here really feels some type of way towards this queen of swords in the reverse. This is a man, too. This man is like, yo, I should get in your ass right now. Like, I should really tell you about yourself, shorty. Like, you just, uh, you just jealous. You a hater. You triggered. You triggered by this empress. Libra, somebody here triggered by you, and they got so many people working together to do something to you. This person was lying on you, and baby, you the real deal holy field. Okay? Somebody here like, damn, if I really knew who Libra really was, I wouldn't even get this shit for real. Like, somebody here, it's, it's being seen. It's being exposed. The truth about you is being exposed. Somebody here, like, man, go, to, go ahead. Go the fuck on. Like, you out here doing all this all this shit, man, and it's it's cause you jealous, it's cause you triggered. Like you should fucking be ashamed of yourself, man. <laughs> Damn, yo. Damn. Yeah, somebody here got clarity. This could be this Aquarius, but somebody here got clarity about a situation. They like, man, go ahead. The fuck on, man. <laughs> this shit is crazy. All right, let's move on to my Pisces. Somebody here fucking mad. They could be a Sagittarius that's pissed off, a Scorpio, a Virgo, or somebody with that Indian chart, a Pisces. Oh Lord, these people are so mad. Let's move on to my let's move on to my Pisces, okay? Last but definitely not least, Libras dealing with Pisces. Give me a message for the Libras that's dealing with Pisces, please and thank you. Libras dealing with Pisces. Give me a message for the Libras connected to Pisces. Let's get two more shuffles for my Libras connected to Pisces. Libras dealing with Pisces. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Libra, these messages, I'm telling you, child. All right, first card out is you, Libra, the justice in the reverse, okay? The high priestess in the reverse. Somebody here did you foul. I feel like this Pisces did you foul. But I feel like you're going to be celebrating. I also feel like whoever this is, they were celebrating when they was doing you wrong. And, uh, yeah, they celebrated too soon. You have the Three of Cups here, Libra, the Nine of Cups, and the Temperance, okay? You are straight. You are showing up as someone that's balanced, someone that's grounded, someone that's calm, someone that's very independent. You hold all on your own. I'm hearing that you intimidate or you trigger this person or these people because you're whole or on your own. You got emotional independence. Somebody here is heavily burdened. Somebody here is heavily burdened and weighed down and exhausted after coming for you. And somebody here is also upset about the fact that you're still in this celebration mode. The fact that you're happy or that you're going to be happy, you're going to be extremely happy, you're continuing to be happy, you're protecting your energy, your happiness, your peace at all costs, somebody's upset about that. Somebody's upset that you refuse to be unhappy. Like, you're choosing happiness. Libra, whoever you are, baby, you choosing happiness and somebody's upset about that. Like, how dare you choose happiness how dare you choose yourself how dare you choose to heal evolve and love yourself how dare you be in this empress energy somebody here hates that you're an empress they hate how beautiful you are too how the fuck you gonna be this balanced this hill and this beautiful somebody here could be trying to attack your um your looks your your physical appearance your beauty okay that shit is not working you still fine as hell i feel like you getting finer every time somebody try to attack you whatever it is that whatever area they focus on it grows so if somebody's trying to attack your uh beauty you look even more beautiful if somebody's trying to attack your finances bitch you don't got a, a a pay raise you know what i'm saying it's like whatever somebody's trying to attack they actually helping you somebody here could be realizing that and now they stopping the cycles closed out or God is just calling judgment in this situation. This shit is over. You got a new beginning, Libra, Ace of Wands. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're the Emperor Reverse. Yeah, this person's very fucking childish. Somebody is very fucking childish. And they're mad because they feel like you're the one that got away or they missed out on the opportunity to hurt you, to cause conflict for you. Everything is working out in your favor and they pissed the fuck off. 
Somebody here is pissed off. Somebody here is also mad because their spell work is backfiring. It's not working. Somebody here wanted to manipulate you and to repeat some sort of karmic cycle with them. And it's not going down. It's not happening. You're building a healthy connection with someone else. Two of Cups. You could be receiving something. You're receiving good news here. Okay? And this is causing somebody to be restless. Somebody here's feathers is fucking ruffled about you being in this Nine of Cups Empress energy. About you looking good. About you loving yourself. Taking good care of yourself. This shit got somebody in a fucking frenzy. I feel like you getting your wishes granted and all this shit is happening really fast. Eight of Wands. Somebody here is mad. Somebody here is receiving some sort of communication or a message that got them pissed off. Or somebody is watching you and they just see you in this energy and it's pissing them off. Libra, you headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. You headed towards success. You do what you love. It's, it's, generate, it's generating wealth for you. I'm hearing that you could be doing something that you love and this shit is generating wealth for you. The love is to the Ten of Pentacles. You're a very passionate person. You're passionate about what you do. You got a lot of passion coming towards you. Some of you could also be getting into a divine union. Some of you could be meeting your twin flame or you are getting into a connection with your divine counterpart, your true love, your twin flame for some of you. This is a soulmate um, energy here. This is a love coming in. You're making a decision here to invest in someone. Someone's making a decision to invest in you. You're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. You elevating. And this person been trying to sneak and plot to see what they could do to you, but you're too fucking strong. And you're too wise. You got clarity about all of this. And somebody here's just watching you. They're going to continue to watch you to get up. They're going to continue watching you getting everything you want. God is blessing you in front of this person. God is purposely blessing you in front of this person's face. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Good news, celebration, victory, success, new opportunities, new offers. This person wanted to take from you. They wanted to steal from you. They they betrayed you and now they pissed off. Now they down bad. Now they feel like they're getting their ass whooped. Now they feel like they're getting karma. Somebody here feels like you highly favored and protected and blessed. They don't understand why you so favored, why you so protected, why you so blessed. This person has been lying on you to other people. They have been lying on you. This person has been spreading lies about you. This person is bitter about the past or about the past that you two shared. This person is now exposed. Yeah, strong Pisces energy with the moon in the reverse. This person is going through an extreme tower moment. They feel exposed. They're mad. They're fucking pissed off. They're also mad because people see them for who they truly are. Somebody here could have strong Scorpio or Aquarius in their chart. Somebody here could definitely have like an Aquarius moon, Aquarius rising. Or this person could be an Aquarius with strong Pisces in their chart. But either way, this person is receiving bad news that you've healed. The fact that you've healed, the fact that you love yourself and you're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles has this person worried they're in fear they're panicking this person has abused their power and authority to hurt you and none of that shit worked you got archangels on your team you got archangels that fight for you judgment here god is calling judgment in this situation the more this person attack you the more that they're hurting themselves and they don't realize that somebody here got so much fucking karmic debt man they need to stop if somebody here is still doing something not only are they wasting their time they're just fucking themselves up. Like somebody here don't realize that they're fucking themselves up really, really bad here. All right, Libra, that was it. I hope that these messages have reached the right ears, gave you guys some sort of confirmation, clarity or guidance. I truly love y'all. I hope that this has helped. Thank you guys for rocking with me, supporting me. Thank you for tapping in. Make sure to give this uh, video a thumbs up if you took anything beneficial from these messages. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. It helps me in the channel. All right, guys, make sure you also subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. I post every single day. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Peace.